Time now to meet our pets of the week. We have two of them today. John joins Marsha Panucci, the founder of Dante's Den and host of Animal Outtakes, to introduce Precious and Pup Pup. What are you doing, Jerry? What are you doing? <laughs> John? Oh, that's cute. I love these dogs. I love poodles. I think poodles are really smart dogs. Well, well, I love all dogs, but I like poodles. Yeah, well, I, I'll say the Schnauzers are, but then again, <laughs> you and <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have always had this discussion. I know, I know. We have. <laughs> but this is uh, Precious and Pup Pup. You yes, have you Pup baby. Pup. And uh, he is six years old. And these are a bonded pair. I have Precious. Uh, she is eight. They are silver uh, poodles. And she runs the show, just so that you know he doesn't have a chance. But he loves to just playfully aggravate her. And she <laughs> loves every, every minute of it, as you can see. Now, they're family? Is that yeah, they were, they were actually bred by the same breeder. Uh, not of the same litter, but definitely of the same breeders. So same we're dealing, line. yeah, we're dealing with a pretty good genetic bloodline here. Mm -hmm. And they've been together their entire lives, do you well, know? Well, you think? Uh, eight and six. Eight and six, so, okay, so yeah, almost. So, yeah, they've almost been ah. together uh, their whole lives. And that's why they have to go as a bonded pair. And you know, as the dogs get older, uh, if they've come in as a bonded pair, it's not a good idea to separate them because they really depend on one another oh, for many do. different things. Absolutely you know? do. For companionship, yes. they play together, they learn each other's ways. <laughs> and you it's can true. see they just make themselves at home on any cushion that you could possibly have. Including laps, apparently. Yes. <laughs> they, lo well, they love yours. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, the important thing about these two is their microchip, John. And this, as you know, is a very important feature that we need to discuss. Well, we were talking about that just earlier before the show, actually. And you mentioned, uh, very correctly, last, uh, last time we were together, that um, on the 4th of July is a bad day for losing dogs yes. because they get scared and they run. And your organization came up with how many? We had 12 dogs kind of stray into our gate. <laughs> and they didn't look like strays, right? No, they were well-kept no. dogs. Yes, very well-kept dogs. And how many of them were microchipped? Of the One. 12? One. One was microchipped. Which makes it all the harder for the yeah. dogs to get back. You know, it's really the only way that we can return the dogs to their owners because that's where they belong. Right. And uh, certainly over at Dante's Den, we ask for proper identification, pictures of you and the dog, uh, and that type of thing. But the whole idea is to get the dog back to its own. Exactly. So I guess the moral of that story is if your dog is not microchipped, Run, don't walk to your vet. Yeah. <laughs> get the dog microchip. Absolutely. Marcia, thank you very much. You babies, you're so sweet. I hope you get adopted today. I sure hope so. There's the information on your screen. Great organization, Florida Poodle Rescue, 727-265-1766. Two precious dogs. Be a world of fun. Thanks, Marcia. Thank you, John. Scott.